All right, the uh, recording looks good. And uh, I also just had to move a window I had over my uh, notes page. Uh, I didn't want to do that in the middle of recording. It would uh, you know, fr freeze when I left the screen. So you can see the chest there. Uh, one thing that always, or the, yeah, the, I think it's the left chest we, we don't end up getting. But uh, anyways, I'll talk about that after I beat this guy. Bacon. Now this being the first kind of real boss, uh, it really shows off the uh, uh, degradation they go through as you hurt them. They. Uh, you know, they lose parts and they slump over, which is, I think, a really cool thing. I'm kind of surprised more games haven't done it. Uh, especially now with, uh, now that they're not using sprites anymore, but 3D models, I think it would be much easier to just, uh, you know, have, like, his arm fall off when he gets to a certain point or whatever. I think I can hurt him with Cure, I mean, because uh, he is undead. Yeah, so you see there, uh, I wasn't dead at the start of the turn, so I wouldn't have known to cast life, but uh, the AI on auto mode did, so he cured me after I had died. Oh good, and he, he knows to use items too, because I think he only has the life spell. Uh, and it would be uh, very bad if Tristan died. Because I can't revive him yet. I, you don't get the life spell until like, uh, halfway through the game. Yeah, so that was doing about 290. I don't know if uh, that's actually stronger than the bombs. Okay, it is a bit strong. But anyways, he's done, and I didn't die. Yeah, so what I was mentioning about that chest, uh, as a kid I always wondered, like, is there something in that chest right now? Like, you know, if I could somehow glitch over there and get the chest before he steals it, uh, would I get the item early? But uh, I think a few years ago, I just uh, used the cheat code to get over there uh, early. And unfortunately, it still just says empty, which is uh, kind of disappointing. Uh, yeah, I really wanted that uh, claw there, you know, right now. And I ought to make sure we get this. It would be. Uh, yeah, if you didn't get that, it would be a bother coming back here. So there's the crystal. Uh, that's one of the four crystals we have to get to beat the game. Well, to... Yeah, I guess uh, those unlock like the final dungeon, so... Alright, now we just gotta get out of here. Uh, it'd be kinda nice if it warped us back, but... not too much. And there's no random encounters, that's the thing, that's the one thing I love about this game that uh, a lot of JRPGs didn't start doing until just recently. I think it was only, you know, since like the PS3 or PS4 generation that uh, JRPGs started like always doing, uh, you know, on-screen battles where you can avoid them or whatever if you want. Or, uh, you know, on the other hand, if you want to get in get in a lot of fights and grind, you can easily, uh, you know, just hit up all the battles in this. You don't have to just sit there, you know, moving around in circles forever. But yeah, like a lot of JRPGs at the time, they had really bad encounter rates. You know, things like Final Fantasy IV or Breath of Fire or whatever, where it was you know, three steps and you get in a fight, which would make something like this just awful, getting all the way out of the dungeon after you've already beat it. 
think I can just get over here. Give her the elixir, which I was always uh, disappointed with the elixir. Uh, you give it to her and she's still cooped up in bed, and I think she stays in bed for like most of the game. Uh, you know, it would have been nice if she just jumped up and came with you for a little bit. Uh, oh, and as you can see, everybody's back to uh, being kids again. Uh, I didn't talk to any of the NPCs, but they were all old people before. You probably saw that, now they're kids, or, you know, younger, anyways. Uh, and all the grass is back. Uh, so here's another battlefield. Um, I think I'm gonna save that just for a few minutes here. Uh, I'll get another character in a few just uh, once I get out of here, so uh, that'll make the battlefields easier. I like his little uh, shrug there. Yeah, so this is that... Uh, this is what I got from that chest. Uh, if I didn't open it, I would have to go all the way back to the crystal there and get the chest. I think there are several items in the focus tower here, uh, like that there, but uh, on this chest here, and that one down there. I can only get this for now, but uh, when I come back here later, I'll be able to get the rest. I just love this music here. It's so, I don't know, like nostalgic and peaceful. Um, I've got all the uh, sound, uh, the soundtrack for this on my phone. I listen to it all the time. And, uh, you know, lots of people have done uh, like remixes or remakes or covers or whatever of them. Uh, especially, you know, the battle soundtracks get a lot, a lot of those done. There's all sorts of like, you know, metal mixes of the uh, battle soundtracks, but uh, there was one uh, I found, somebody like remixed the whole entire uh, soundtrack. Uh, I can't remember what the guy's name was, but uh, I'll try and remember to put a link up. Uh, it's really good. Alright, I Gonna just uh, fast forward through this battlefield again. Uh, Phoebe is very useful. She's got a ton of different spells and uh, she hits hard. Oh, I didn't see what we got there. Uh, must have been EXP or something. kind of a bother going back out, but uh, at least it's not, doesn't take that long, and the battlefield back on the other side, if I recall correctly, does actually have a uh, armor piece, so it is worth it. I 
I don't know if she was, uh, if she still had heal spells left there, so I don't know what was going on, but, uh... could have swore I got that for clearing this out, but, uh, maybe not. Oh well. Yeah, no, it's not, you know, it's not like Ocarina of Time here, uh, jumping all the time doesn't make you move faster, but, uh, tend to just do it anyways. I don't know, it feels like you go faster. Bombs there, this wasn't going well. One more to go. First here, heal, and then uh, uh, go get that last battlefield. Oh, and I might as well get the uh, piece of armor that's in here as well. So we need to get the uh, wa uh, the water to melt the town, and to get the water, we need the uh, Leaper Crest. That's nice. You can just jump over the NPCs; they don't uh, trap you like they do in a lot of games. This is uh, here. It is. You're on. Refreshers. Uh, those cure. I think they cure stat debuffs, uh, you know, defense down and stuff like that. But uh, I don't think I have, like, ever used one. I wasn't even sure what they did. Uh, you know, as a kid, I had no idea. Cause half the time, you know, you don't have a stat debuff, so you hit to use it, and it just. Uh, it, it just makes the error sound. I was like going up there as a kid. Yeah, that is kind of the problem like all JRPGs have is that stat buffs and debuffs are usually not particularly good. Well, sometimes buffing yourself is good, but uh, they tend not to play a big part in a lot of games. Which that's something I'd like to see is like a JRPG where it's, you know, even bosses can be affected by poison and stat buffs and stuff like that. And, you know, maybe have a lot fewer battles, but have them all be like really strategical. Strategic. Uh, okay. That's what I was expecting from the other one. Okay. 
Kaylee just uh, nuking everyone, or Phoebe just nuking everyone with the fire there. Yeah, and it's really handy that uh, she has uh, fire and thunder, and uh, they both count as, I think one is wizard and one is black, uh, as far as uh, spell families go. So they use different uh, cast pools, so she can use one so many times, and when it's out, she can use the other. Oh, two levels. Yeah, I'm... I'm trying not to uh, fast forward except for the battles, but uh, I have a habit. Usually, when I'm playing JRPGs or whatever, I'm just fast forwarding. I'm let you know going as fast as I can, unless uh... yeah, unless I'm like reading or whatever. Uh, but that's probably not as interesting to watch. I'm gonna take my finger off the fast forward trigger there when I'm not uh, doing the battlefields. Yeah, so you can see that did very little damage because it hit all of them. Her fire spell and thunder spell and stuff is the same. They do less damage if they target everyone, but uh, they're so much more powerful that it does. It still one shots them. I kind of wish she would uh, not just fire one of them at a time. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take her off uh, out of there. She's uh, being stupid. Let's see, she's only got six of these left. She's uh, been firing one of them at a time. Uh, other stuff to get in here, actually. It, it has been probably you know a couple years since I have played this. Uh, you know, I normally do play it every you know at least every two or three years. But uh... anyway, she's got the bow now, which is uh, you know limited technically, like the throwing stars, but. Uh... She's never going to get anywhere near running out, and uh, so much more powerful too, and it seems to be more accurate. Also, it doesn't uh, make contact with the enemy, which is uh, always better. There's a lot of enemies where if you hit them with a, you know, a sword, or axe, or claw, uh, you've made contact and then they'll uh you know they do damage she really poison you or whatever. <laughs> Thought there might be an item in here. Um, I guess it may just be the well yes you get the claw anyways. I guess we'll know if we uh, get to the end of the game and I'm missing something.
One, uh, one thing I just remember, there, you know, I've heard people say like, oh, there's a limited amount of experience in the game. Uh, you know, you can clear every battlefield and uh, kill all the enemies on the overworld, and then that's like the maximum level you can get. Uh, but I seem to recall that's not actually true. That the, uh, I think. I don't know, I'll double check as soon as I beat this uh, dungeon, mm. but for some reason I think that the enemies in the dungeons, mm. you know, they do actually respawn if you leave mm. and re-enter. Uh, I don't know if that was a, like a change that they made, because I know there is like a version uh, 1.0 and a version 1.1 of the ROM. Maybe that was a change, maybe some people had the early version that uh, they didn't respawn and you were limited. Yeah, so it actually isn't too bad going through uh, not fast forwarding the battles. Uh, they only take a couple seconds here. Much better than a lot of other JRPGs. That's the thing I find, you know, I can't even play Pokemon anymore unless I'm uh, fast forwarding it. Like playing through it on you know, a console or a 3DS or Switch, it's just a nightmare. It's like, you know, you just sit there watching these long, dragged out uh, battle animations and stuff, and you're like, this, this whole battle, it should take like five seconds. Why does it take five minutes? partner characters, they pretty much throughout the whole game uh, one-shot everything. I always thought it'd be cool if they did a, like a Mystic Quest 2 or something these days. Although I can imagine there being uh, a lot of anger with that. Uh, yeah, I just imagine E3 or Tokyo Game Show or something, uh, Square Enix getting out and, you know, they show the Final Fantasy logo and, you know, the crystals bounce around or whatever and then it's like Mystic Quest. I, don't, I would be happy, but I imagine most people would be pretty pissed off if that was uh, the case. These enemies that confuse and stuff, they're just a uh, bother. Yeah, I remember there was some fan game somebody made. It was like a Mystic Quest remake or something. They did it on Game Maker or RPG Maker or whatever. It was, I don't know, this was 10 years ago probably, but uh, I don't know. I seem to remember they ended up like, I don't know talking to Square Enix or something, and they got like a, mm, okay, like, let's, uh, let's talk or whatever, or they got, they got, like, you know, they must have been given the number of somebody to talk to or whatever, and then they took it as, like, an, okay, we're good to go, and so they went to, like, try and sell it or something, and then Square Enix, uh, DMCA'd them. At least, I, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Yeah, it would be cool to have a two, or you know, even if they just did uh, more showing of the game, they seem to kind of forget about it. Uh, I remember I played uh, 
Final Fantasy the Theater Rhythm on the uh, 3DS there. Soon after I got it, and this was the first uh, Theater Rhythm on the 3DS. I, I think there was a second Final Fantasy one, but uh, that probably had more songs. But I remember playing it and then just being so disappointed that there was absolutely no uh, Mystic Quest mm. soundtracks on it. Uh, it was like, you know, you're making a game about like the music of Final Fantasy, and you don't have the game that has the best music of them all. Well, like, at least, you know, one of the best music of all of them. Mm. Mm. Or, like, including a character from it in, like, Dissidia or something would be cool. I don't know if uh, it's just, you know, the, the sense of time is different now that I'm older, but uh, I don't know, it felt like it took, you know, days and days of playing to get here uh, back when I was a kid. But now I'm just like, I don't know, it's not even two hours. I don't know if I'm even an hour in that. Yeah, when I looked up, like, you know, how, how long could beat.com about this game, you know, it said, oh, it's like 10 hours long or something. You know, I thought that was uh, strange, because I seem to remember, you know, it took me a while as a kid, but, you know, actually, it may be true. But... I don't know, I guess see how long this takes. Nice if uh, Phoebe was faster there. She could have killed one of them. Uh, and then I could have focused the bomb on the other one. The axe is still stronger than the claw, but the claw does a bunch of status effects and stuff. But, uh, you know, like most games, those aren't terribly useful. It's just kind of like a mini boss, it's kind of like the uh, Minotaur. Mm. 
They gotta walk all the way out again. There is a exit spell, but unfortunately you get it like uh I don't know, it's like the one of the last dungeons in the game. I guess about 75% of the way through you get it. Like that when you die, you just you know you have the option to just restart the fight. Uh, the uh, you know going back to your last save is uh, probably my least favorite death penalty. You know anything uh, you know when it just wipes out everything you did. Uh, I think you know probably better than just being able to redo the fight though would be you know when you go back to uh, the last inn or whatever you said you were at. But, uh, you know, all your progress is still there, but, you know, maybe you lose some gold or whatever. Actually, we can do this now. not that much to buy in the game and you get so much of it that you never even have to pay attention to it in the slightest. Like 
I've got how much? Yes, 1606, so... I do need more explosives. Oh. Yeah, I think normally you don't end up running out of those, but because I'm not getting hardly any of the optional things... Alright, oh, not quite time for that yet. I just want to go back here and just uh, test what I was saying earlier about the enemies and uh, respawn. Yeah, so see, in, at least in the newer version, they do respawn there. So you could uh, come in and out and uh, grind or whatever. There's, a, I guess, an unlimited amount of experience. And it just does the one little... That means we gotta go to the pyramid. Now this is, uh, as a kid, this was as far as I got for like the longest time. Uh, you know, I would just play the game over and over again, uh, get to this part, and then uh, not know what to do. What you gotta do is push this up here. Right there. Yeah, I would just play through the game, get to this point, and then, you know, I had no idea what to do. I'd, you know, run up and down the whole world there. You know, all the way back to the first area, and like, okay, what am I missing? I, you know, I just, uh, I don't know. Well, I'd say for a long time, but, you know, again, as a kid, you sense the time is a bit off. Maybe it was just a few months or whatever. Uh, actually, it must have been, it must have been at least a year, because I got this for my birthday. It was in the spring, and then uh, I remember it was uh, summer holidays. My cousin was over and we you know we were just playing games or whatever and then uh I think he actually figured that out. So yeah I was probably stuck for about a year. Uh, maybe that was necessary. I just put it back in manual so she doesn't Okay. Uh, so she didn't waste any more magic but uh, that happened. Yeah, so the, uh, at least for me anyways, the first part of the game, and, uh, 
you know, up to this point and the you know, rest of the game feel very different. Because, you know, I played through the first part just over and over again. I, you know, I just get to this point and then run around and, you know, search every bit again and then uh, start a new file and do it all over again. Um, you know, and then I only... You know, once I eventually beat, you know, uh, got through this point, I ended up beating the rest of the game pretty quick. I think, you know, like my uh, my cousin figured it out, and then uh, I don't know, like he went home, and then it was just a couple days later. I remember uh, like calling him, and be like, I'm at the final boss. I finally did it. Disappear throughout the game when I get more and more uh, you know, preventing items. Heal. That to uh, cure staff specs. This is not the main boss yet, uh, this is just another uh, mini boss, so I won't get the water crystal from this. Kind of useless against bosses until later in the game. Complain about uh, the auto control, you know, is making the game totally easy. But I find in a lot of JRPGs, it's not like they're really that, uh, you know, in-depth, uh, high-thinking strategy stuff. It's usually you would just be doing the obvious moves that the AI is making, anyways. You know, you spam fight against regular enemies. When you're at a boss, you're a strong enemy, you just span your strongest spell and uh, mm. heal whenever someone gets low, and that's basically it, really. Like, you know, they're not that strategic, so. Alright, I got the uh, powered up bombs there. I think this guy sells cure potions. Okay. For some reason I thought he didn't sell them until later, but uh, maybe it was until you uh, melt that green tree that he uh, doesn't sell them. So I seem to remember him saying like, oh, his, his plants are frozen and he can't grow them, but uh, anyways. 
Alright, I'm just gonna, gonna break here for a bit.